Hi guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, today's video is all about the coax cable. And if you've been following the Ultimate Tech Hub, you've probably seen our video on how to install a coax cable wall plate. And we have a second video on where does the coax cable go. We will have links to both those videos just in case you haven't seen them. So today's video, we're going to go over some facts, safety concerns, and some do's and don'ts when installing coax cable. And remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. So first, what is a coax cable? A coax cable is an electrical cable which transmits radio frequency signals from one point to another. This technology is not new. As a matter of fact, it was first used in 1858. There are different types of coax cable and they vary by gauge. The gauge of the cable refers to the cable's thickness and is measured by the radio guide measurement or RG number. So the higher the RG number, the thinner the central conductor core is. There are three common sizes of coax cable. We have the RG6, the RG11, and the RG59. And of course these cables come in different colors. So how does a coax cable work? Well in simple terms, a coax cable works by carrying data in a sensor conductor. So what speed does the coax cable transmit data? The coax cable transmits data at 10 megabytes per second. So what are the advantages of coax cable? Well first, it's inexpensive. It's easy to wire and install. It's also easy to expand. It has a good resistance to EMI. It's durable and it transmits 10 megabytes per second. The only disadvantage of a coax cable is if that coax cable fails, it can take down an entire network. Oh. So now let's talk about safety when installing coax cables. This might be the most important question. Can you shock yourself on a coax cable? And the simple answer is no. However, a coax cable is capable of carrying a current. But typically, antenna amplifiers put out only about five volts through a cable. There is one exception. Direct TV satellite equipment works with a power inserter that can send up to 29 volts through the cable. Now this kind of voltage is enough to give you a tingle if you touch the center conductor, but it's not enough to give you a shock. And one more thing before we're done. When working on any coax cable, it's very important to use the correct tools. For instance, if you're gonna cut the coax cable, do not use scissors or hedge trimmers or a knife or a flamethrower. Just kidding. <laughs> it's important to use the correct tools. When stripping back the coax cable and securing the F-type connector onto the cable, use a coax cable stripper and a coax compression tool. These tools make it much easier to terminate the coax cable. Well guys, I want to thank you for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.